previous lecture we have discussed about the block diagram of cathode ray oscilloscope internal diagram of cathode ray tube and electrostatic focusing now we will discuss about deflection systems in cathode ray tube actually there are two types of deflection system electrostatic deflection system and magnetic deflection system we will discuss about what are these two deflection system and what is the basic difference between these two deflection system now let us see Actually, there are two types of deflection systems used in cathode ray tube. First one is a electrostatic deflection system, and second one is a magnetic deflection system. Now, let us see what is the difference between. It. Now, let us see. This is the electrostatic deflection system. In this electrostatic deflection system, there are two. plates that are vertical deflection plates they are placed at distance d from each other and the voltage is applied to this vertical deflection plates while sort of signal is applied to the horizontal deflection plates and we can see the combined effect of both on the screen of our cro let us discuss how this electrostatic deflection system formed initially the vertical deflection plates are shown which are placed distantly apart and are connected to a source of potential difference that is ed an electric field exists between the plates and electron entering this field is deflected towards the positive plate moving parabolic path when electron leaves the region of the deflection plates there is no deflecting force therefore it travels in a straight line towards point p dash on the fluorescent screen the amount of deflection depends on the speed of electrons the voltage applied across the deflection plates the size of the plates and the distance of screen from the plates in crt the accelerating potential that is the speed of electron beam the size of plates and their distance from the screen are fixed therefore the position of the spot p dash on the screen depend on the voltage applied to the deflection plates only let us remember this is a screen this is a these are these are two deflecting plate and their distance is d now let us see deflection sensitivity what is mean by deflection sensitivity the deflection sensitivity of a crt is defined as the deflection on the screen in meter per deflection voltage and it is given by the formula s is equal to d upon ed the unit of deflection sensitivity is meter per volt where there are different terms are used in this formula let us see s yes, is the deflection sensitivity d d is nothing but the deflection on the fluorescent screen while ed is nothing but the deflection voltage what is this ed this ed is nothing but the voltage applied on the vertical deflection plates on a crt that due to that applied voltage 
electron beam deflect vertically on the screen. Now, this formula is most important regarding board exam. Problem from the, this chapter can be asked for 3 or 4 marks on this formula. So, remember this formula for sensitivity. Now, what are the applications of this electrostatically deflected CRTs? Such type of electrostatically deflected CRTs are used in cathode ray oscilloscope. So, remember this. Now, this is the second deflection system. The name is magnetic deflection system. In this magnetic deflection system, two pairs of deflection coils are used. Instead of two deflection plates internally placed in a electrostatically deflected CRTs. These two deflection coils are fitted on the neck of CRT from outside. So, they are called as a yoke. This yoke, you can see in this diagram. These deflection coils are two types. Two deflection coils you can see in this diagram. This is a picture tube or CRT. This is electron gun assembly. In this type the deflection plates are not present. So the name to this coil is given U. Now two pairs of coils are used. One pair is for horizontal deflection and another pair is for vertical deflection. So, the name is given that magnetic deflection system. In this magnetic deflection system, an electron beam produces a circular magnetic field around it. When an uniform magnetic field is made to interact with this field. Let us see in next diagram. You can see in this diagram, this is a uniform magnetic field. And this is a interacted magnetic field with electron beam. An electron beam produces a circular magnetic field around it. When an uniform magnetic field is, this is uniform magnetic field. This is made interact with this magnetic field. The magnetic lines of force are distorted. See, these are distorted magnetic lines of force. And the beam is deflected as shown in the figure C. By reversing the poles of external magnetic field, the beam can be moved up also. So, from this diagram, the amount of deflection is proportional to the strength of magnetic field, which is proportional to the current in the coil. See, these are two deflection coils. At last, we can say that the amount of deflection is proportional to the strength of magnetic field. From this, magnetic deflection sensitivity is defined as the amount of deflection of the electron spot caused by a magnetic flux density of 1 Weber per square meter. Is that clear? So, remember this point. This is a uniform magnetic field. This is the interaction of two magnetic fields. Means the uniform magnetic field and the magnetic field caused due to electron beam. Now let us see applications of both these deflection system in last point. See electrostatic deflection system used in CRO that is cathode ray oscilloscope. While magnetic deflection systems are used in the electron beam is deflected using magnetic field which is created using yoke system. Then electrostatic deflected CRTs are used in ECG means electrocardiogram. And there is most important application of electrostatic deflection system that is used in earthquake monitoring system. So remember. 
the question may be asked on this topic write the applications of electrostatic deflection system and magnetic deflection system or compare any two points of electrostatic and magnetic deflection system is that clear